Graham had taken the track Bilby to the Home Crescent Recycling Center. I was sure this is where I'd find Leet. I didn't realize I was that big. Well, Joey, how's it feel to be outside again? Wow! Did I do all this? So you told me. I love what I've done with the place. I am truly something else. Okay, Joey. We know where the recycling center is, but how do we get there? I've got a plan. First, I could pretend to be a heap of old junky metal. <laughs> pretend? I don't like your tone. Well, I don't like your plan. Then solve it yourself. Any idea what we should do next, Joey? What do I look like? An information booth? A little, around the eyes. This place, it's so... Clean? Not what I was going to say, but yeah. You're welcome. Why should I thank you? I'm a cleaning droid. Yeah, but... You're welcome. Is Spankle seriously the only drink around here? Yeah, like, where's a guy got to go to get some high-grade synthetic lubricant around these parts? I was thinking of bourbon myself. Busy around here. Not really. Are you kidding? I can't remember the last time I was around this many people. Oh, people? Yeah. I assumed you were talking about droids. What do you think of Greta? She's perfect. She's a hologram. Exactly. All data, no sloppy organics. My kind of woman. Glad to be out of that museum? You know it. That place was full of useless old junk. Well, now that I've broken you out... Don't finish that sentence. Let's move on. Lead the way. Remember, I get travel sick. Welcome, Citizen Graham. Where would you like to go? Take me to the Home Crescent Recycling Center. You don't have clearance for there, Citizen Graham. Please obtain a travel waiver. If I was to get to the recycling plant, I was going to have to obtain a travel waiver. Where would you like to go? Actually, I'd like to stay here. Of course, Citizen Graham. Speak to Greta. I think I'm in love. Hi. It's most excellent to see you again, Graham Grundy. The pleasure is all mine. How can I be of assistance today? I need to get to the Home Crescent Recycling Center in the industrial level. What a curious choice. To reach the industrial level, you will need to obtain a travel waiver. Please log your request with a well-being officer. Well-being? What about that Alonzo guy? I don't think he'd be too keen to help us. Can't you give me a travel waiver? Not my department, sir. How can I get a travel waiver for the Home Crescent Recycling Center? Travel waivers are administered by the Ministry of Well-Being. I need a travel waiver. Where can I find a well-being officer? Did you have a particular officer in mind? What about Mentor Alonzo? I'm sorry, Graham Grundy, but I cannot disclose the whereabouts of such a high-ranking individual. I know you understand. Thank you. Until the next time. Another customer. Please scan your U-chip to place an order. Can I ask you a few questions? I'm here to serve. How would you get to the Home Crescent Recycling Center? That's easy. I just wait till retirement. You misunderstand. How would a citizen get to the Home Crescent Recycling Center? 
For all travel inquiries, speak to your nearest Greta terminal. Is there a well-being officer I can speak to around here? Those sort of inquiries should be made to your nearest Greta terminal. I'm more of a spankle sort of fella. Bye for now. Have a great day. Excuse me, one see you. Pleasure to see you, Citizen Graham. How may I be of assistance? I need to get to a place called Home Crescent Recycling Center. Well, that should be no problem. Great. Provided that you have your travel waiver from a well-being officer. Why can't things be simple around here? The monopod will auto-detect your travel waiver and take you straight to the industrial level. But be careful. It's an unfriendly zone. Suppose I don't have a travel waiver. Well, how wonderful for you. Far less chance of you getting into danger. Stay safe. So where do I get a waiver? To apply, just speak to a well-being officer. So if I want to go to the recycling center, I need a travel waiver. That's right. And to get a travel waiver? Just ask a well-being officer. Where can I find a well-being officer? For your convenience, well-being officers usually come to you, Mr. Grundy. What if I don't want to wait? I believe I saw Officer Newblood around here earlier. And where is she now? Not here, I'm afraid. Guess when she saw how I got this area under control, she must have left. I need to find Officer Newblood. Just ask your nearest Greta terminal. We have two right here in the piazza. Can't you tell me where she is? I provide supervision. Not information. Where can I find a specific well-being officer? If they're on duty, their location will be available from any Greta terminal. That's all for now. Enjoy your day, Citizen Graham. Hi. It's most excellent to see you again, Graham Grundy. The pleasure is all mine. How can I be of assistance today? One CU told me you can help me find someone from the Ministry of Well-Being, Officer Orana Newblood. Do you have a problem with your well-being, Graham? Nope, never felt better. I just need her to grant me a travel waiver. Well, I'm delighted to inform you that she's currently working at the Aspiration Platform. Though it is unlikely she will have the time to grant your request, with the preparations necessary for tonight's gala. You ever heard of that place, Joey? Only stuff I know about Foster is what I could see from my plinth. So Arana could get me a travel waiver to the recycling center. If I could speak to her at the Aspiration Platform, I'd be one step closer to finding Leet. Remind me, where can I find Officer Arana? Officer Arana is currently working at the... Aspiration platform. Thank you. Au revoir. I am Chisel. These tin cans all look the same to Union me. City wishes... Hey, got a minute? It is so good to see you, Mr. Grundy. I need to get to the Home Crescent Recycling Center. For all travel inquiries, speak to your nearest Greta terminal. I need to find a well-being officer. Have you seen one around here? Those sort of inquiries should be made to your nearest Greta terminal. I'm more of an aspiration brooch sort of fella. 
Later, Hollow. Come back if you want that aspiration brooch customized. Calling all social climbers. Customize your aspiration brooch here. What do I do with this? Excellent question. Simply insert it into the machine slot here and we'll be on our way. Calling all social climbers. Customize your aspiration brooch here. Happy aspiration day, sir. Now, step two. Time to choose your favorite hologram. Do they do anything different? Oh, no, sir. It's purely cosmetic. Once you've made your choice, you'll be all set. Please choose your desired hologram. The Citadel sure is a sight. I'll take that. Fantastic! You'll stand tall above your fellow citizens. There, your aspiration brooch is ready to collect. Thanks. Calling all social climbers. Customize your aspiration brooch here. Calling all social climbers. Customize your aspiration brooch here. Happy aspiration day, sir. Please choose your desired hologram. It'll have to be the Joey hologram for me. I just love him so much. Marvelous choice. No one will ever question your devotion. There, your aspiration brooch is ready to collect. Thanks. Calling all social climbers. Customize your aspiration brooch here. Welcome, Citizen Graham. Where would you like to go? To the Aspiration Platform. Of course, Citizen Graham. Enjoy the view. And don't forget to aspire to aspire. supposed to be working somewhere around here. My hope of finding Leet rested on convincing her to grant me the travel waiver. I hope this welcome sign was better maintained than the last one I'd seen. Finally. What time do you call this? Well, it's earlier than I might have been. But on the other hand, it's later than I expected. Are you being... profound? He wishes. I'm sorry. Please ignore my droid. Is there a problem? Yes, there is. We're in the midst of a disaster. A meltdown! Somehow a bird got in and made a total mess. And the official cleaning team is indisposed. On today of all days, I, P4RT, have been delegated to resolve this issue. For your own well-being, I invite you to call me T. I hereby subdelegate the task of cleaning this area to you and your droid. Actually, I'm just here to speak with Officer Orana. Can you tell me where she is? Officer Orana is occupied in the control room right now, not to be disturbed. In fact, she's even locked the elevator. Not that is any business of a cleaner. Maybe we can start with cleaning the control room. The control room demands a top-of-the-range cleaning team. And I very much doubt that rust bucket is up to the job. 
Hey, this isn't rust. These are janitorial scars of honor. He may be old school, but he gets the job done. Either way, you're going nowhere till this whole area is spotless. You won't be disappointed. Right, Joey? Spotless is my middle name, Foster. You will remember, of course, to uphold all Ministry regulations. Cleaners must be uniformed and accompanied by a cleaning droid. I'm right here, you know. Yes, and will be expected to be silent. Kindly remember your place. Please return when everything is in order. T was a stickler for the rules. To have any chance of getting that travel waiver for Arana, I would have to play along. It was my old friend Joey, resurrected as a cleaning droid. Hey. Hey, Joey. What's up? What is this place? It's outside, Foster. After the last few years, I'm calling that a win. We need to convince Arana to give us a travel waiver. Oh, right, your plan. I forgot you had one of those. Don't you need to get that uniform that the droid was moaning about? And get me an oil change while you're at it. You want to do some cleaning, Joey? Nope. Oh, well. I can't say I didn't try. Hey. Hey, Joey. What's up? Joey, clean this up, would you? I like it just how it is. Joey, clean this up, would you? And the point of that would be... So long, and thanks for all the... Memories? I was going to say, riveting conversation. Welcome, Citizen Graham. Where would you like to go? Take me to my apartment. Certainly, Citizen Graham. Must be Grundy. Graham Grundy? Um, yes. Yes, I am. Darkwin was telling me you and he had quite a crisis on your hands. The pair of you rescuing some poor wee mite from certain doom. Well, I suppose. How terribly inspiring for you. Oh, anyway, just look at the time. I fear I shall lose the best table. Sir Reginald Arthur Schnipple requires his daily tipple. No inspiration sans precipitation. What? <laughs> Good day, Mr. Grundy. Don't get any ideas, Foster. Just because it has arms doesn't make it better than me. Isn't that right, Foster? Commencing refill. Nice map. Excuse me, sir. Please?
Welcome home. Your delivery has been placed in your domicile. It was an outfit like Graham's, but in my size. I could make anything look good. You'll have everything squeaky clean soon, Rob. And wearing that, emphasis on the squeaky. I hear copter blades look good on a machine. At least that's what all the popular droids say. Foster, don't start doing anything organic in here, okay? This thing was built with a sense of smell. The smell of Mini-K is bad enough already. Let's not make it worse. You know how inefficient food actually is, right? If I was organic, I'd have swapped my guts for a battery pack years ago. Someone looks angry. things. You always wanted the whole set. Weren't there four of them? Where's Captain Philby? He's the best one. <laughs> Get a load of this guy. Hello, Chipworth. Master Graham, what a pleasure. Foster, you're not going to introduce me to your new pal? Joey, this is my butler, Chipworth. Greetings, Joey. What a pleasure it is to finally meet one of Master Graham's acquaintances. Acquaintance? I'm his best friend. Well, then we are equals. What do you know about the Home Crescent Recycling Center? Is that a threat, sir? No, no, of course not, Chipworth. May I get, sir, another drink? I don't remember you getting me a first one. Perhaps a pillow, sir? This guy's a real sucker. Coming from the vacuum cleaner? Why can't you tell me about myself? Sir ordered me not to. What if I tell you that I've changed my mind? 
You told me you'd say that. I did? Well remembered, sir. Outsmarted again, Foster. Us AIs have impenetrable logic loops. Oh yeah? This sentence is false. Are you trying to kill me? Goodbye, Chipworth. Have a very special day, sir. Ask him if the refrigerator is running. Hey, Songbird. Hello, husband. Husband? Graham is my dear husband. What have you gotten yourself into this time, Foster? Just go with it, Joey. We have an arrangement. Strictly temporary, don't ask. I see you've changed. Good idea. You looked like a Gaplander. Where's the Home Crescent Recycling Center? Recycling? What's that? It's where you take old things and turn them into new things to avoid waste. That sounds amazing! Can you recycle me, Foster? You don't want that. They'd have to melt you down. Sounds painful. And a waste of time. Union City has plenty of everything. Do you know where I'd find Home Crescent Recycling Center? It's important. You mean, like a factory? Well, that sort of thing only happens up top. Can you be more specific? It's not here. That's all that matters to me. Thanks. Yeah, bye. Uh -huh. She's quite the charmer. I can see why you married her. Look what I've got. How did you get one of those? Just gave someone a hand. Well, don't let it go to your head. Joey? I hear you. I don't get it. We've searched this whole place, but I feel like we're still missing a key piece of information about Graham. Stuck, are you? Yeah. I once heard that humans do some of their best thinking while sitting on the toilet. How is that helpful? How should I know? You're the human. We need to find out more about Graham. Okay, how's this? He's super boring. That's not really giving me anything to go on. You know what else is super boring? This conversation. But... Next! Where do you think we need to go next? Were you obsessed with getting that teddy bear from the recycling plant? We can't get to the recycling plant without a waiver. You could make your own out of a convoluted series of unconnected logic and ambiguous found objects. I wonder if that well-being officer might be able to help me. Good idea. I've been saying for years you need to see a shrink. We need to find out more about Graham. He's our only lead. Don't let me stop you searching the place. Any advice? Hey, I might be the smart one, but that doesn't mean I have all the answers. Besides, you'll feel better if you work some things out for yourself. You don't have a clue, do you? Not the slightest. Useful as ever. Any advice? Foster, I spent ten years in a glass coffin. What am I supposed to say? Avoid poison apples? Uh, any advice? Eat, breathe, and poop. Oh, and make sure you get an oil change every now and then. Thanks, Joey. Any advice? If you're ever locked in a glass case, ask if they can put you by a window. Not much else, though. Thanks, Joey. Any advice? You know what to look good on you? Sandals. Socks, too. Trust me, fashion's my middle name. Useful as ever. Let's talk later, Joey. Okay, Foster.
pod has been requested. Please wait for embarkation. Welcome, Citizen Graham. Where would you like to go? To the Aspiration Platform. Of course, Citizen Graham. Enjoy the view. And don't forget to aspire to aspire. Me again. So I see. Excellent. You have your uniform. Oh, still the same droid, huh? Shame. On second thoughts, your droid does look rather antique. Are you sure it's up to the task? This thing has a name. Don't worry. We're thrilled to be here and ready to work hard. Good. Waiting for you has already set my schedule back. So trust me, I'm thrilled to see you too. I shall be supervising the area preparations, should you require me. Unless there was anything else? Tell me something about yourself, T. I live by a simple motto. Cleanliness is next to joeyness. Hmm. <clears throat> Catchy. Do you have a problem with vermin? Ah, oh, yes. Gang gangs are attracted to our beautiful flora, but then create a dreadful mess. Those nasty creatures must not be allowed to ruin the Aspiration Gala. How can they be stopped? Our fearless vermin robot will make sure they don't get anywhere near the tree. I could deal with the bird for you. Absolutely not! The vermin robot is in complete control. And you're on cleaning duty. I really need to speak to Officer Orana. Officer Orana is busy with preparations for the Gala. She has given specific instructions not to be disturbed. Are you sure that room doesn't need cleaning, too? We won't disturb her, I promise. No way. I'm still waiting to be impressed by your cleaning down here. If I was going to get to Arana, I'd need to prove to T that Joey and I were up to the task. An empty bird's nest had been built in the heart of the tree. Some old bunting had been left in the tree. Cleaning that up would surely impress D. A powerful spray was drenching the tree and everything around it. Wow, this place sure is a mess. A pile of pink blossoms had fallen from the tree above. A scattering of feathers littered the floor. Bird droppings. A gift from above. A lonely gang gang in the city. The poor thing looked unloved and hungry. tirelessly to prepare for tonight's gala. This was where the cleaning robot refilled its water tank. 
I needed a mess. But blatant vandalism wasn't the way to do it. For some reason, Arana had locked down the elevator. An intercom system connected to the control room above. Intercom disabled. I'd have to get her attention another way. It was my old friend Joey, resurrected as a cleaning droid. Hey, loyal service droid. What's up? That droid is very particular. Yes, a particularly massive pain in the... Joey! I have to speak to Arana. Any idea how to get past this elevator? How should I know? You've got that interface probe, remember? Oh, sure. Probe this, probe that. Get your probe out, Joey. Am I just a probe to you, Foster? Just a dashing, hyper-intelligent, honey-voiced probe? Of course not. You've also got attachments for cleaning stairs and carpets. Remember when everyone in the city wanted you dead? I missed that. Seriously, Joey, can you get me into that elevator? Nope. No ideas at all? Nope. Try annoying that other droid over there. So long, and thanks for all the... Memories? I was going to say, riveting conversation. When it came to cleaning, T had very high standards. How can I improve your productivity? T, could you unlock the elevator for me? I could. I don't see enough evidence as to why I should. So we could leave it sparkling. I don't believe your droid is up to the task. I am. I am. Just you watch me. About having a chat with Arana. My orders from Officer Arana were very clear. And your cleaning skills? Far too mediocre. That means no. How am I doing? You want me to review your performance? I pronounce your progress unsatisfactory. I don't understand. Why? You literally haven't done anything. Look on the bright side, Foster. At least you haven't made things worse. Yet. Yeah. I'm missing you already. I have tasks to attend to. As do you. Yeah, Rob. Get cleaning. Put your back into it. Quiet, or I'll volunteer you for sewer duty. Would you like a can of spankles? Thank you, but no. The approved cleaning fluids already perform quite satisfactorily. Would you like... What is that smell? Eliminate it! Someone eliminate it! Hey, 
Loyal service droid. What's up? Joey, would you mind tidying up around here? We'll need to impress that droid if we want permission to speak to Arana. Excuse me? Do I look like a cleaning droid? You look exactly like a cleaning droid, Joey. Yeah, well, appearances are deceptive. Look, I know you're not a real cleaning droid, just like I'm not the real Graham Grundy. Oh, so I should pretend to clean up the area? No, I mean actually clean up the area. Really, Foster? Must I? Yes. And look like you're enjoying it. Okay. But you owe me. Joey, can you handle all this cleaning by yourself? No way. We're supposed to be working together. We are. I find the mess, you clean the mess. I'm beginning to question this arrangement. Joey, could you... Yes, yes, clean the whole area up, I get it. The vermin robot was circling the tree with a robotic sense of purpose. Hey. Hey, Joey. What's up? Think you could do some more cleaning? Oh, Foster, I would love to. Sadly, I don't see anything that needs to be cleaned. So, to unlock the elevator, I got to impress T. Let me guess. You're expecting me to do all of the work. Oh, great human master. Grace this unworthy droid with a task. Thanks, buddy. You're welcome. Fond acquaintance. One of those robots again. Please, just... No more rats. I improve your productivity? How am I doing? You want me to review your performance? The ground appears reasonably clear. Does that mean you'll unlock the elevator for us? And allow some incompetent droid to run riot in the control room? I think not. I think he's talking about you, Foster. Our cleaning skills weren't making enough of an impression. I needed something big. Something striking to clean if I was to impress the droid. Gang snatched the mini K before the vermin droid could reach it. It was obvious which one was smarter. How about that, hey, feathers! Fancy a mini K? So 
Pangangs were fearless creatures until it came to getting wet. It was a hand scanner. Feathers. Fancy a mini K? Invasion is a disaster. Look at the mess! Citizen Graham, to work! Hey, at least the bird's gone, right? That's pretty impressive. The vermin? The vermin is gone, but behold this! This looks like a war zone! To work! To work! Remember, cleanliness is next to joeyness. Yes, that's always been my motto. Hey, Foster, how about you hack these with some sick beats? It was a high-tech sound system. Too bad these Union City folk didn't have any taste. Hey. Hey, Joey. What's up? So, to unlock the elevator, I gotta impress T. But nothing here is impressive enough. I mean, we have that giant mess you caused with the bunting. Just let me add it, Foster. Then we can show that droid who's the best. Any idea how we can make a serious mess to clean up? I mean, we do have the bunting all messed up. Good point. Thanks, buddy. You're welcome, fond acquaintance. Joey, could you... Yes, yes. Clean the whole area up. I get it. How can I improve your productivity? I urgently need to speak to Arana. As I said, your cleaning skills are inadequate. How am I doing? You want me to review your performance? In truth, I feel the platform has somewhat regressed. I think the bunting looks better like that. Your opinion is irrelevant and unwanted. So, about the elevator? The answer is still no. See you around. I look forward to seeing the results of your work. Fallen bunting had thrown tea into a real state. Joey, let's show this droid your true talent. Get to work on that bunting. With pleasure. 
You know, Foster, I think I'm starting to get the hang of... Uh-oh. The bunting's tangled in my brushes. My motor! I think my motor is on fire! Foster, I'm too young and talented to die! Wow! Quick, Joey, stop dropping! Look, stop and drop! Hurry! What's going on down there? I thought this platform was supposed to be... Officer Arana, I'm so sorry. The cleaning unit I was sent have proved to be wholly inadequate. The cleaning unit? Hello? Not what I'd had in mind, but my strategy had worked all the same. Now I could ask Arana about a travel waiver. Arana, just the person I wanted to see. Graham Grundy, what on earth are you doing here? I wanted to ask you about something. So I came down here hoping I'd find you. And you decided to get my attention by setting fire to this droid? A happy accident. I'm sure that T will clear this all up in good time. I'd better get on with my duties. Of course. Hey, listen, before you go... Hey, what happened to that girl on the roof? Raquel was safely deposited at the Reflection Spa. She'll be right as rain in a few hours. At least you got a few hours off work. Speaking of work, if this place isn't cleared up soon, everybody's gonna miss the Aspiration Gala. So what is this place? You mean the Aspiration Platform? It's a place to come and reflect your place in the world. Look up and see how far you've come. Look down and see what's left to aspire to. So, a place where you can feel superior and inadequate all at the same time? On the contrary, it's an uplifting, positive space. The perfect place to celebrate Aspiration Day. What's your role in the Aspiration Day festivities? I watch over everyone's well-being. It's very gratifying. How do you do that? Supervise well-being, I mean. Easy. If everyone is well, then I'm doing my job. The elevator was on lockdown. What were you doing up there? Not another girl trapped on a ledge, I hope. Thankfully, no. I just needed a little peace and quiet. Besides, I wanted to do a final well-being check on the equipment. Attention to detail is important, don't you think? Oh yeah, sure. Nothing gets past me either. So does your job usually involve responding to disasters? There are no disasters in Union City. Just unpredicted mishaps, which I am trained to smooth over. That droid sure is interesting. T is an exceptional droid. Seems pretty intense. Well-being is intensely important, and therefore highly rewarding. T seems to be having a tough time. I wonder why. So, can I clean upstairs? After your little display down here? I think not. Orana, do you remember that missing kid I mentioned? Did you find him? Not yet, but I think I have a lead. Mr. Grundy, I'm just a well-being officer, and I'm really not sure this is at all in the interest of your well-being. I get it. Kid goes missing, you want to help. But... This isn't for either of us to deal with. Leave these things to the appropriate ministries. Okay? Listen, Arana. I need to ask. This isn't about that missing gap kid again, is it? It was going to be. People disappear, Graham. Most of them turn up again. No worse for wear. I was hoping you could get me access to the recycling center in the industrial level. Area code E1594. So that's what you were asking about earlier. I'm afraid that zone is prohibited, unless you have a travel waiver. I know. Do you think you could authorize one for me? Why would you want to go to there? It isn't safe for civilians. It's about the missing child I told you about. I've been following some clues and... Shouldn't that be reported to the appropriate ministry? I've tried that, but no one seems to care. I don't know. This is all very... You've got to help me, please. Okay. I'll authorize your travel waiver. But be careful. Got it. Thank you, Orana. There. I should get back to work. Keep a smile on your face. 
at last. I had the waiver I needed. Next stop, Home Crescent Recycling Center. I'm kind of on fire. Help appreciate it. Talking to me after what you did? You are everything I was programmed to despise. T had taken this all very personally. Tell me something about yourself, T. I hate mess and everything that causes it. So, you work with Orana? What's she like? Very capable. The same cannot be said for some. Surely you can't mean me. So about that cleaning... I think you've done quite enough. Don't blame me. Blame the droid. Less blaming, more saving. See you around. I certainly hope not. Fire. I repeat, I am on fire. Save me! The droid shell was on fire. Quite a safety hazard. Joey. I'm dying, Foster! Burning! Save me! My board! My legacy! My... My probe! Fire! I rip... Don't worry, pal. I've got you. Oh, my goodness. Just gotta pull this... Ouch. Be careful with... The bright flora needed to look its best for the Aspiration Gala. All this hard work, you must get pretty hungry, huh? How about a nutritious can of Spankles? Ah, much as I love Spankles, I'm good for now. I have another snack you might be interested in. Oh dear. Prepare yourself for the world's finest mini K. Ooh, that smell, it's ooh. I'll take that as a no, I guess. Have you ever seen one of these before? 
No. Why? Just wondering if you have them here in Union City. What are they? Some kind of vehicle. I've heard them called Night Stalkers. Where did you get the picture? A friend of mine gave it to me. It doesn't mean anything to you? No. Sorry. Hey, have you got one of these? An aspiration brooch. Very impressive. I didn't realize you were a social climber, Graham. I'm as surprised as you are. Hey, thanks for hooking me up with that travel waiver. Don't mention it. And remember what I said. Be careful? Exactly. Are you going to be here for a while? By the looks of things, yes. Welcome, Citizen Graham. Where would you like to go? Take me to the Home Crescent Recycling Center. Travel waiver. Accepted. Are you sure you want me to transport you to the industrial level? Yes, yes, I'm sure. No one has ever asked me to take them up there before. Mind how you go, Citizen Graham.